Are the alleged drones in New Jersey taking over radio stations? No. And I'll tell you why here in just a second, but this video is sponsored by LinkUp Communications. For more information about LinkUp Communications, visit their website, linkupcommunications.com for all your content distribution needs. And I, let me tell you about who I am real quick. I'm Marcos O'Rourke. I am a 20 plus year broadcast engineer in the Los Angeles market, recently moved out to the Denver area. And now this channel is here to explain broadcast engineering things to you, give you kind of a peek behind the curtain. These alleged drones that are flying over New Jersey. Federal authorities insist most of these sightings are actually legally manned aircraft. We uh, believe that there are cases of mistaken identity where drones are actually small aircraft and people are misidentifying them. They're very well maybe drones in the sky, of course, but those are commercially available. Are they taking over radio stations? I said no. There's a couple of uh, videos that are floating around that show this radio station, and it's got some really strange audio, like... These videos, in my professional opinion, are demonstrating what happens when you have the wrong sample rate for audio. Thank you. Awesome. If you make it to 10 years. Now, sample rate. If you go back into the Broadcast Basics series that I did, we talked about the air chain. Now, if your air chain is digital, you are going to have a sample rate. And a sample rate is basically you take a second of audio and you chop it up a bunch of times. In some cases, you're chopping it up 48,000 times. In some cases, 44,100 times or 32,000 times. Those are kind of the three standards that we are using with digital audio today, but which are 48K, 44,1K, and 32K, but that's the term that I'll use in this video. So you're taking all those little samples of the audio and you try to play them back with a sample rate that is lower. So 48,000 samples, 48K, trying to play it out of a 32K sample system, you will get this exact sound and this exact symptom. Slowed down audio, pitched down audio. That's all that this is, in my professional opinion. I have had experience with this. I've had this happen before. I've had a piece of equipment just decide, eh, I'm done. I'm gonna change my sample rate just for fun. And that's what happened. If you were to do the opposite, you would get chipmunked audio. And it would sound very similar to that. So this is why making sure that your sample rate is set all the way through your air chain, don't let it be automatically dis detected. If you know what your, your, your system is gonna be set to, if you're using audio over IP, more than likely you're going to be using 48K sample rate. So set it on your STL system, set it in your audio processor, on your transmitter, whatever cascading equipment that you have, make sure that it's set to the same sample rate. Now, where else could this audio phenomenon come from? Okay, let's see, let's, let's go down the air chain. Could it be that the automation system is having problems? Absolutely, it's a computer, it's a Windows computer more than likely. So this Windows computer, whatever driver it's using, could have gone weird and changed its sample rate. The audio over IP system, it could have had some sort of failure and its sample rate could have gotten messed up. Studio to transmitter link, the STL, it could have gotten, again, there's all these different points that you can check if that were to happen for you. So we need to make sure as broadcast engineers that our sample rates are set and that if we do hear audio like that, that we 
know exactly where we can fix it. Okay, that's basically it. Is there anything else that it could be? So I watching these two videos, uh, the two videos that I've seen, they're both the same radio station. It's a Christmas format station. So it's not taking over, these alleged drones are not taking over massive amounts of radio stations. This is limited to one station that is having this issue. So could this be something else? Not really. The way that that sounds is very specific to a sample rate issue, sample rate mis misconfiguration or basically a misconfiguration. And it's nighttime in these videos, which means it could be on a weekend. And therefore, nobody's home to hear it. Nobody's at the station to hear it. If it's, um, you know, a lot of stations are unattended these days, especially on nights and weekends. So tomorrow, you know, on Monday, when I'm recording this on Sunday, tomorrow on Monday, they're probably gonna hear it and resolve it or somebody, somebody called in or somebody who knew the engineer called and said, hey, this is what's going on and they were able to come in and fix it. But again, it's generally a pretty simple fix. I don't know specifics of what's going on here, but in general, it's, it's pretty simple to fix. So nothing spooky, nothing supernatural, nothing paranormal, nothing, it's a pretty benign issue. All right, that's it. That's all I have to say about this, this topic, but I wanted to get in there. And while I am recording this, I wanna say Merry Christmas. And there's a lot of exciting videos to come. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of this channel. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep learning.